was in Detroit, back in no man's land. Time to build your farm. Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad to have you here with me and welcome back to No Man's Land. It's time to build a user submitted farm. Thank you so much to everyone that has sent me videos, pictures, stories, you name it, to withthestovers at gmail.com. This is a bonus for the week. This week, I want to thank friend of the channel, America Creations, for sending a farm in Lawrence County, Pennsylvania. This is going to be the Spurdue Farms. Now, America Creations, I don't know if this is your family farm or a farm near your area that you enjoy. But looking at some of the pictures that were sent over, this is absolutely beautiful. A real treat to take your family. And it sounds like just an amazing family that does so much for the local community. You can check out their website. It's PurdueFarms.com. I'm not affiliated with them, but it does look like an amazing time to be had, especially in the fall season. Now, last week I was on Simple Midwest 4X, and this week... Well, I'm back in no man's land because I really wanted to have all of my painting brushes available uh, for textures. And since this was a bonus for the week, I have gone ahead and, I guess, prepared the canvas, so to say. No man's land doesn't have pre-built fields. And Spurdue Farms, it looks like you have absolutely beautiful sunflowers I want to be able to grow those. So I've gone in, I've painted out areas where I'm going to put your fields. I've also downloaded uh, the pumpkin add-on uh, or the decorative pumpkin that you can get from the in-game mod hub because you have one heck of a fall celebration and I want to make sure your pumpkin patch is represented. I'll be using this Google Maps image to go off of. You can see the farm, you can see the fields. And you know how this goes. We're going to take this blank area in no man's land and create this. So let's build this. And up in the left-hand corner of the screen, you can see the Google Maps overlay of what we've got to work with. We have to create this uh, in the map editor. We're on no man's land. And you can see the fields that I painted. This is going to save a significant amount of time. I did go in and do a little bit of sculpting because while I don't have a street view of Spurdue Farms, it does look like there is a bit of a tiered step down from... Uh, one of their higher fields down beyond the barn area and into one of the other sunflower fields. There's also a creek and there's a lake uh, up here in this region. So again, I just went in, I flattened some areas, I gave us a little bit of a uh, change in elevation. No Man's Land is great for this because if you look around, there are hills and flatland everywhere. You can choose an area uh, that works best for you and your farm. And remember, No Man's Land is an all-platform map, meaning if you're on console, you can build something like this. I know you can. I trust that you can. Just give it a shot. Okay? Here we go. So I'm going to start, I think, with the house. 
And fortunately, I'm using the base road that came uh, with No Man's Land. This is what came right out of the uh, the shop. I just made it concrete instead of uh, dirt. So we'll come in. Let's put a house down. So we'll go into buildings. And this looks to be a fairly, maybe, I don't know, early 80s home build. Again, I don't have a... Um, a street view to really tell, but I don't know. It, it I, I don't know if it's a traditional farmhouse. I think it might have a, a porch on the front. I don't know what is going to be the best house for us in here. And I'm going to look, see what we've got. Hmm. Definitely has kind of a gabled roof. Uh, do we even have anything that? would work for this house. Let's take a look in productions. In generators, there is a way to, I've actually got a house set, um, and it is the rental properties, and you get some extra houses. Let's see if there's anything in there that would work. Uh, not loving any of these. Well, oh, hold on. Could this work? This might actually work for this build. Now, the carport is a little backwards. It needs to be the other way. Could I just turn the house around? No, it does not. I don't love that. I really don't. Let's go back into buildings. Let's look at houses. We might have to take a little bit of just creative license here uh, and put a house down that works but maybe isn't 100% accurate to the real build. We're going to try to be close. Remember, again, we're we're bound by the limitations in farm sim uh, with what we can do. You know what? That'll actually, I think, work right here. Whoa, we're zooming way in. That is the uh, construction zoom that I have going there. I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go red. I think it's red because all the barns are red, but I could very well be wrong. Uh, and I'm going to put this house about right here and this kind of gets us going on where other things are going to be and right off the bat i already see that i've got a bit of a problem i need to come into decorations excuse me landscaping painting because i have clearly not given the backyard um and the corresponding i think the pumpkin patch that's out there enough room so i'm going to come back in we're gonna just modify this a little bit. So we're going to take out some of the stuff that I've already done. Maybe bring this down like this. And this is all that I was doing to make these initial fields anyways, was just painting. Because that is the great thing that Alien Jim provided on this map. He uh, gave us a ton of um... Uh, paintable um, items. Paintable items. What the heck am I saying, Sober? Um, ground covers. That's right. So plants and ground covers and, and trees and just things that you don't typically get um, on some of the base maps. So I'm going to do this. And we're just going to expand this backyard ever so slightly so we can put the trees in. And looking at it, you know, the pumpkin patch, I think, is about right here. So we would probably need to come in and, and do a little expansion on this field. So let's just do that. I think this might need to come out a little more, maybe like that. And I'm not going to completely cover it up because I'm going to use that grass for my pumpkins for just a little bit. Okay, so we've got the house. Let's go ahead and put the trees down. I'm doing this a little backwards, but I think it might help us in the long run. So let's grab some larger trees. Uh, probably... Oh yeah, and I forgot to note, I'm doing this in October because it looks like Purdue Farms. You, again, you have a huge fall harvest festival absolutely love it and I thought why not do the actual build 
uh, with seasons turned to October. I think that's where we're at. So let's put a tree there, and let's put a tree here, and let's put a smaller tree about here. And then let me throw in... See what else we've got. I want to put down this about right there. And then I think these might, these could be dogwoods. I don't know. But right along this field, there is a line of trees. And I'm just going to kind of line them up. And I'm not going to put them in a perfect row, but I'm going to stagger them ever so slightly all the way down here on the side. And then it looks like there might be a bit of a, like a different type of tree or bush right here. That's a little too big. Let's put just a bush right in right there. And then off the corner right here. I'm going to go in with another tree. And another couple of bushes right about here. That might be a pool in the backyard. I cannot tell. Um, but let's do our normal landscaping. Let's go ahead and throw some uh, forest ground around it. And we might be able to expand on this house to make it a little closer to what is available or what is in real life by adding a few decorative items. Again, using that construction zoom on the camera, it's on the in-game mod hub. It just it allows for tighter and wider. You can set it in the menu of, of how far you want to go in uh, or how wide you want to be. I feel like this might actually be a small area, like a patio area on this side. I think I might see an umbrella. So let's try something. Decorations, other. Let me see if I have something small enough in my bridge category that would allow me to... I don't know if this is right or not. I really don't. I don't think I have anything small enough. I was going to try to do one of the DIY... Um, well, we could try this. So again, this house, you, you don't actually go inside this particular house. Um, so it's okay to clip through it. So let's do that. I don't know if that's a pool. I don't think it is. I don't know. But let's put a bit of a porch right here. And again, I don't know if it's a porch or if it's just like a gathering area. And we'll do the same right there. And then we can come in and put some decorative items down. I, again, I think I see a um, an umbrella. Let's throw an umbrella on there. Might be able to put some chairs down. You know, you can have some fun with this. Um, put different types of, you know, decorative flowers up here. Now uh, find some chairs. Maybe a table. And if you build your deck low enough on the ground, you can actually put um, railing around it. And I'll show you how to do that. So in landscaping, uh, excuse me, decorations, you can go into fencing. And as long as you put the fencing on the ground, you can see that it actually does 
act like railing. But I don't think that fence will work. Let's see what else we've got. Might, again, have to take some creative license here. I don't hate that for being a low, like a skirt around this deck. Just a deck skirt. Let's do that. So we'll go here to there. And I think there might be a walkway. Let's go into painting. Let's just, again, without having a detailed pick of this or street view, I don't know. So we're going to make it as nice as we can. Put a nice walkway right here. And even if there isn't a pool there, let's give them a pool. That's a little too big. That is a little... That's country. I don't think I have a pool that will work. We could give them... What could we give them back there? Let's see. Maybe... Maybe just a little more... Like patio area? Landscaping, painting, we could do this. Oh, I wonder if that's the garage. Now that I'm thinking about it. I think it is. Okay. Standby. I think that is absolutely the garage. Let's go into buildings. And let's see if I can find a garage that will work. That is a shed. I don't want that. Let's use the American two-car garage right here. Make it red. Dark red if we've got it. Yep, that's perfect. And we'll back it up as far as we can to the door. Might have to take that tree out. So we're going to use our jump into the actual map, turn our delete objects on, and we just run over to it. Actually, I need to turn off flight mode, and I might turn my HUD back on. We are way far away. I was flying around all over the place. We're going to run back up here. It was this tree right here. We're using object delete mod. Many, many ways to delete trees quickly. That was one of the big frustrations early on in the game. So many ways now uh, to delete trees. No need to worry about it. Um, you can use Lumberjack. You can use Easy Dev. Uh, you can use some of the attachments on skid steers that are now uh, just designed to chew up trees. I, I remember the first thing I ever did in Farm Sim right after it came out, I, I added some trees, and I got so angry with myself because I didn't know how to cut them down. Like, I cut them down, but they fall over, and then you've got to move them, and then you've got to move the trunks, and I just wanted to build farms, and I couldn't because I had to move all these, these trees. Uh, so fortunately, the great modders out there have created stuff for us to do that. That's one of the sad things, too. Not a sad thing. Wrong choice of words. But, you know, when you get a new game, 25 is coming out. And you've got to wait for mods. I'm hoping that one of the um, things about 25 is easy mod conversion. I don't know if it is, but that would be amazing so that we can get mods quickly over into the environment. I'm glad I came to my senses on this. Again, I think this is a is a type. It, it might be a deck, but it, it probably is a garage. It makes more sense as a garage. Just like that. And then let's just, while we're here, again, because we've already done the, um, the fields for the most part. I don't have to spend a ton of time on that, but I am still going to try to keep this under that 60 minute mark, uh, which I completely obliterated uh, last time. There we go. And then let's maybe do this. Let's come around the deck 
A little bit. Again, I don't know if this is the case on Purdue Farm's house, but I'm going to do that. And I'm going to throw in a couple of nice decorative plants. Okay, so now we see from, again, the Google Earth view map, we've got to come down and the driveway turns into uh, asphalt. So we're going to grab our asphalt layer right here. And it kind of, if I had to guess, it looks like the driveway comes like this. There's a barn like right there, another barn right there. This is very skinny, so this is kind of like this. And then there is gravel that comes out here because this gets bigger. Kind of like that. Square that off right there. And then the barns, looking at them on the photographs that per per were provided, this looks to be a... Um, a side opener. That's probably not the right word for it. Um, let's see if I've even got anything like this. It is like that, but I can't change the color on that, so I don't want to use it. I definitely want to use that. Not right either. Let's see here. I could, again, I'd be taking a little bit of creative license, but I could use that. I'm just going to take a little extra time and just go through these and see what we've got. Again, try and find the right barn. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Get rid of that. Way too big. Way too big. Oh, you know what? These could work. Especially with... Because that's got a side opening on it. Let me see if I can get dark red. Yes. Is it red or brown? I guess it's red. Okay, we're going to use this. And it gives us the white roof, too, which is super important, I think. So we're going to put this about right here. And there's a second barn right next to it, a little skinnier. Let's see what we've got that will work. That's wider. That might actually work. It's going to be slightly the wrong color, unfortunately. Because it is the red... Oh, no, that does not work. It is the uh, Michigan Farms pack. And, you know, while we're doing this, I'll, I'll make a mention. I try very, very hard to use mods that are available to everyone. Uh, I, uh, you know, all platform on the in-game mod hub. I don't always succeed... If you do have a question about a mod, I'm very happy to, to answer that for you. I might not have the answer, but leave a comment or send me an email. Uh, if you're sending an email uh, with your farm, again, that's with the stovers at gmail.com. 
I will do my best to try and point you in the right direction of mods. I typically get my mods tried if, if they're coming um, from or for all platforms, they're coming on the in game mod hub. Beyond that, I, I do look at King's Mods, I do look at itch.io. In fact, I get the majority of my mods directly from the modders on itch.io. Uh, I highly recommend you take a look at that. You can get some amazing mods uh, from modders directly uh, on that site. Ooh, that would have actually... That is... Can I... Oh, I can change the color too. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to use that. So we're going to delete this. We're going to put this here. Because this is exactly what is on site. Um, and I don't know if it's bright red or let me, let me consult my notes. It is brighter red than darker red. So let's go with a bright red. Put that right here and then right next to it, I might put this without uh, any type of door on that side. I think I need to bring this. Let's get rid of that. I've said this in the past. Again, do not feel like you have to be 100% perfect on all of these. But sometimes my brain tells me I have to. And, well, then... I do. So there's that. Let me put a smaller barn in here. Again, going for bright red. Does it have a door? Yes, it does. So to make this properly functional, I might offset this just a touch. Just so you can go in here easier. Put that. Put that right there. Okay. Let's make our... Let's go into landscaping, painting. Let's grab our blacktop once again. And let's bring down this. And you can clearly see, again, I'm off. I'm definitely off here. But I'm going to go with it. Just going to go with it. And this looks to be all blacktop in here. In the driveway... It's kind of slanted. I go about right here. To the road. Not too wide. Not right there. And just kind of bevel that out just a touch. And because we have all of our brushes, we can put you know, a little bit of gravel there at the end of that driveway. back into our asphalt layer and I want to come straight off of this I want to come straight down and I want this to come straight down from here like that and there is a bit of a hill right here so that's again one of the reasons why I'm using no man's land I wanted to have um the changing t uh, terrain. You know, one thing, it's it's very easy to, or it's easier to build maps on flat ground because the uh, terrain tool does work better in FS22. But if you can get comfortable working or building farms on uneven terrain, I think you will enjoy your creations better because you do get more realism out of it. It's just really nice to see, you know, the rolling hills 
of a particular uh, field or farm. Uh, and no man's land, especially when you delete all the trees, will absolutely do that for you. Okay, now we need to get our other barn in here. And for this, I'm gonna try something. So I'm gonna go into animals, and the closest thing that I could find to what this is in real life is the cow barn uh, as part of the red barn pack. I think it works beautifully. Um, the problem with it is there it's going to completely destroy the terrain if I don't turn off um, automatic terrain leveling. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to rotate ever so slightly. It's also going to it's going to put a pasture in. And I think I might have a way to cheat it a little bit. So let's maybe put this back like this. It's almost right back here. Let's do that. So you can see it didn't mess up my terrain as much as I thought it would. But what I'm going to do is... The real farm appears to have a fairly decent slope down right here. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to take my landscaping tool off of here and I'm going to use and go completely flatten this area out right here and I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to like go up over stuff I know I'm hiding things you can do that though it is possible you can hide things you could also delete them I believe there's an object deletion tool that you could use um, for this I'm going to do just the raising of the terrain. Now what you have to be careful when you do this is if there is um, or there are openings in this building as I'm bringing this terrain up it is rising inside the building as well. So you need to be careful that um, and pick your battle. Right? And then here, I kind of want this to... So I'm going to use the sloping tool. I'm going to choose right mouse where I want to go. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to raise this up. And again, I'm just going to cover that up. That's a trigger. So again, you've got to fight your battle. Am I going to use that trigger? I think that is a slurry trigger. If you're not going to use it and it doesn't bother you, then who cares if you covered it up? If you're really going to use the farm, well, you might need to put a different type of slurry pit in. Okay, while we've got that, I want to put the final barn in here. So that's over here. And the closest thing that I could find that I think would work for this is in tools. And it is this. This is, again, it's off ever so slightly, but it has the all the characteristics of the barn that is currently there, including the central entryway with the uh, overhang. It's really, really nice. Now, the barn that's on site doesn't have that huge lofted uh, roof, but again, I think this is probably going to be the absolute best bet that we can go with. And let's see if there's a bright red. There is. I wish I could change the roof. I can't. And again, it is ever so slightly turned like this. You know, maybe I go... Let's see. That was like really, really, really bright red. That's one of the things you get. Different shades of red. Maybe we'll go with a slightly softer red like this. To match the red barn pack. 
And I'm going to put this right here. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Now we need to start... Um, you know what I need to do? I actually... I think I need to demo this. Stand by and I'll show you why. I need to come into my leveling. We know that's the barn we're going to use. But I need to come in here and I need to bring this up. Because I have a feeling this hill right here... This is a hill. And I want this to kind of be flat. I'm going to bring this out further than I think I need to go. Because when I go into my buildings and my tools and I choose that barn once again, you're going to see why. So grab your barn, choose your color. Lay it down. Then you're going to come in and grab, in this particular case, my sculpting tool, and I'm just going to smooth this out. You can hear the crazy with the Sobers pup dog upstairs barking. I think I know what that is. I ordered a... I've been talking about ordering a new computer. I actually ordered a new battery to replace a UPS that I have. So much cheaper to grab online, got it on Amazon, than buying a whole new UPS. So just replacing the battery. I think that's probably what it is. Okay, so we'll do this, because this is the kind of the pathway down. Now, again, you're gonna have to forgive me because back here, you can see, yeah, there's there's animals. So for this particular build, I'm sorry, you're going to have a pasture right there. Um, you could maybe try and cover it up if you really, really wanted to. It's actually funny because those are super high. Why did they do that? That's bizarre. We could fix that, but it's really, really bizarre. Oh, I know why, because I didn't use... Hmm, yeah. But I had to do that, though. Hmm. Now I'm thinking about what I want to do. So, so here's what happens. If we sell this, right? Um, and I come in and I lay this back down. You're going to see what I was trying to prevent. So we'll turn that like this. We'll put this here. See what it did? It basically just completely chunked out um, the area. Now, that might be okay, though, because I do feel like we could come back into landscaping and we could just flatten this out. Because I do not care. I do not want those lights. So if I go up over those lights and then I flatten all of this out, there is a bunker silo right here. And I come in with some s just softening of the land. This might actually work. Go ahead and go up over this. We'll soften it out. Don't worry. Come here again. If we go too far, we are going to go inside the building. But that's okay. We could maybe cheat this just a little bit. And make it go down right there so that that um, slurry connection point is still functional. You can still see those darn lights. Let's bring that up just a little bit. Okay. Now what I want to do is this comes down. So I'm going to slope this. So right click where you want to go. Go to where you're, I guess, going to end. And then this will slope itself up. 
Again, I'll repeat that again. Slope tool, right click your mouse, and I don't know what it is on console. So that's the, that's the slope two point. And then come to where you wanna start, start changing the slope and push up into it. You can see how it makes that nice gradual slope right there. Alternate way to do it is you would use um, the softening tool, which you could use, but we're fighting some of the existing architecture of this particular placeable item um, versus what is actually on this farm. And that's okay. And I mentioned that I came out much further than I needed to here, and that's for a reason. Um, because I want to then come in with my softening tool. So I'm going to raise all that up just a touch. Then come in with the softening tool. And soften this out. And I might even do that there a little bit. We'll soften here a touch. And that is a entryway into the barn. Soften all that up a little bit. Not too much because then our light is going to pop out and it's going to... Let's bring that back up. There we go. Okay, let's get our silo in here. So let's go into productions. Actually, it's in buildings, silos. And it is an older concrete silo. Let me see if I can find it. Ooh, would those have worked? No, that would not have worked at all. Some of the base game stuff. That is what it looks like. Um, but that's not going to work because it has a house attached to it. So we might have to, again, take a little creative license. No worries. We'll find something that works. Might go over into productions and see if I've got anything in productions. Uh, so factories. Oh, yeah, I've got these. These are perfect. So let's rotate like this. And we're just going to set this silo right here. And this is a fermenter. This would work. This was originally, I think, a dairy farm up until the late 50s, I believe is what I read. Um, so we'll put that about right here. And then I do want to finish out my... Um, so in landscaping, painting, I want to grab our asphalt once again, and I want to go ahead and finish this out. Because this is kind of straight here. This has a bit of a turn to it, and since there's already this here, I am going to extend that there. Make this all asphalt. It does look like... So this comes out here, and it goes down like so, about to maybe here, then over. This, again, remaining all asphalt. Big area right here of grass. Beautiful picture online of a uh, of a John Deere combine sitting right here. We'll definitely get that added. Uh, and the grass does a, it does appear to go up a little here. So we're going to come maybe into our decorations or excuse me our landscaping. And I'm actually going to bring this up. Not too crazy, but just give it a little bit more. Just give it a little, little height right here. I 
go back into painting, grab our grass, and I want to let me get this right. And this was beautifully manicured grass, too, so let's find um, if we have something that will work. Yeah, just this this will work great. Let's put this in here. Now, we might, because, again, we're dealing with that... Um, Uh, brick wall right there. I might throw some vegetation back there just to hide the fact that it goes down the way it does. So for that, I'm going to come into my plants, you know, choose something small and maybe just put something small back here. You know, it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look great. Um, let's see if I can throw in some of this. Give it a little of this as well. It's a little more realistic. Do kind of the same over here. And this is a, this is a farm that, again, it has far more, um rolling terrain and some of the other ones we've built. So we're spending more time trying to get it right, I think, but that's what gives it the the realism if you can get it right. There we go. Okay, now let's go back to our painting and grab our asphalt. And this just kind of squares off right here. That's what it looks like. So we kind of come to about here. And this goes like that. Actually, it doesn't even go to that other barn over there. It just... Kind of to here. And if anything, that's gravel. Spinning beach ball of death. I know, I'm still... Still in the hunt for my PC build. I do appreciate everyone that has uh, gone in and voted on what you think I should use. Definitely using an AMD processor. Uh, Ryzen 7 7700 or 7700X, not a 7700X 3D. I was told that that would be an absolute waste of money. Uh, in fact, might actually hinder performance. All this is, uh, it's difficult for me. I'm, I'm not very well versed in um, PCs. I've been a Mac guy all my life. I love it or hate it. Um, but I'm learning. The problem that I'm finding is there's so many opinions about what you should build out there. It's rough. So I was originally set on, you know, AMD processor, AMD graphics card. But then the poll clearly showed that I should look for um, uh, NVIDIA graphics. So I started looking. And I, I, I tell you, it is so um, difficult because you see videos online. There's some great people online that provide benchmarks and whatnot. But you just traditionally see numbers. You know, they're showing you frame rate. They're showing you benchmarks in a particular game. Um, you don't... And, and it's only for like a little snippet of that game. So right now, definitely AMD for the CPU. Graphics card, I had in the chat or in the poll a 4700 Super. But I'm realizing that that just probably, if I went NVIDIA, would not have enough VRAM. 12 gigabytes. And everything I'm seeing is like, you got to have a minimum of 16 if you want to future-proof what you're doing, and again, future-proof is probably the wrong word, but you know what I mean. If you want to um, make sure you're going to be able to play well for the next couple of years. So that pushes me to the 4070 Ti Super. Uh, or the 4080, which 
there, there seems to be a lot of hate out there for the 4080. Everyone, uh, again, I don't, I am not smart enough to, to really understand all the differences. It's very pricey. Some have said just go to a 4090. Just bite the, you know, bite it, cry once, get the, the best of the best, um, and then you won't have to do anything. Well, I'm thinking about it. Then at that point, I'm reading all these stories of you have to upgrade everything else. So your cooling and your power supply and, you know, you, you're now overheating. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know what to do. So that brings me back to AMD and looking at like the 7900 XTs and the 7900 XTXs. Long story short, and ramble over, I am building a PC. But I still don't know what the heck I'm going to use. I've looked at a lot of the creators online, especially the farm sim creators, just seeing what they're using. Uh, that was a great suggestion by uh, folks on the channel. So we shall see. But I, I've got to get a PC. I've got to learn Giants Editor. Um, I, I think just the overall performance is going to be significantly better. The Mac is is amazing. Um, it's, this particular one is an M2 Ultra, the base M2 Ultra. Wonderful for um, you know content creation. Actually, the editing portion of it, graphics, you name it. Just not great when it comes to. Um, playing the game smoothly seems to do okay when I'm in the game editor and I'm on a map like No Man's Land but once I start at really adding stuff um, things get um, very very choppy very very quickly I'm going to do that folks just decided what the heck Why not? So what I've done here is I've just I've covered up basically the the uh, um, the cow area, the the field, um, and you can do that. Gonna mess around with things inside here, but and if you were to actually purchase animals, it would not work well at all. But there's enough. Um, well, if I had a you know a proper PC, I could go in and remove that pasture. Um, but now we'll do this, and we'll just we'll try to get it high enough here so that we're we're hiding a lot of the stuff. I think it'll be okay. And this area down here is, again, I think from looking at the pictures, so, uh, sunflowers. There's an uh, awesome, there, so we're gonna put a, a small stream right in here, and then there is this amazing looking miniature train that they've got on site. It looks so much fun, especially for kids. This. Let's smooth this out. Get in my Bob Ross mode. Put some happy little grass in here. Going to painting. Um, on here, it looks like this is gravel. So let's go ahead and throw some gravel in here. Maybe not gravel dust. Maybe just gravel. And it's basically from here out to about there and then over to the walking path. The walking path then becomes, this is all gravel here, out to the field. But this, all in here, is gravel.
Now, something to note here. So we're covering this up. Um, the actual barn itself, when you load the map again, it's going to reload the grass that's there. So you need to be cognizant of that. Uh, so you're not annoyed. Not a huge problem. You can just paint over it. But the base file is going to put that grass back. Um, and we need to come in and grab some grass here. Because this is where our little stream is going to go. If I turn this way, so the field, we again, we're, we're kind of, the field should continue going way, 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 way over here. I'm, I'm taking some creative license with this uh, just for time. Um, again, this field should continue down much further than I currently have it. But I think for purposes of what we're doing, this is going to be okay. So here's where the little stream is. And I do want to put this in here. So I don't know if I have succeeded in getting us low enough for the base uh, no man's land. Uh, when you go to landscaping, sculpting, water plane that's in here. So let's see if it's close. There it is. So I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to come here. So this this little stream, it follows... So we're going to go... I'm going to turn this to super high strength. It's a very just skinny little stream that we're going to put in. But since that water plane is there on No Man's Land... It's extremely easy to add in. Problem is, I know the problem we're going to run into already is I'm going to run into my... No, I didn't. I don't know how I didn't, but... I think I'm going to run into my... We might have to go this way a little bit. I was fearful I was going to run into the um, fencing for what was the cow pasture. And I probably would have if I didn't change directions. So we're going to, again, we're taking some creative license. And I do want to go into my... <clears throat> Whoa, I've got screens going everywhere. I went over to Google Maps because I wanted to see what I had going in Google Maps. Okay, back to here. This needs to get super high on the strength. Come over, and then this has to continue going. Might even make that a little wider. And then we're, we're almost painting this stream in. Because, again, the stream is already there on the map. Going back to what is a lake back here. The lake should be about right here. Now, the hard part on this is 
the water plane is flat. So to come into this stream, our lake's not going to be very big. Because we're going to have to flatten this area out from that field on the right. Come on, beach ball. I'm going to replace you, Mac. So let's do that. And then let's put just a small... This is where the lake is on the actual farm. But I think it's a little more level with both the left and right field here than what I've got. But that's okay. Do this. Okay. And we are definitely going to want to soften this here. And I haven't looked at my time. Let's take a look at the time. Let's see how we're doing. So we're right at 60 minutes. So I've clearly, once again, gone over my time frame. But I don't think I'm going to go over it as badly this time. I am going to soften this as well. This might get a little tricky here, because if I try to soften this too much, you're going to start to see my poor attempt at covering up that uh, pasture. But if I soften this side, it might not be as bad. Okay, now let's grab our paintbrush, grab our grass again, and I'm going to, you know what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to come and grab the water puddle, 
And I'm going to make this here a water puddle. So the stream is going to be a water puddle. And we'll run that all the way down. Like so. And this water puddle is on the provided no man's land alien gym map. He made an update not long ago, actually, uh, that added more of these textures, which is so appreciated. Actually, very, very appreciated. I cannot thank the modders enough when you think to add uh, more textures, more paintable textures, because it, it just allows for so much more creativity. Okay, now for the side of the pond and the creek, I'm gonna go with dry grass. Very, very small, and I'm just gonna paint this around the outside. And you can actually come in if you wanted to. We could do our so we could paint the grass. We could paint grass first. all that happy go ahead and put our foliage grass in our meadow grass and I think I need I actually need to paint more grass there stand by Got a little bit of that um, fence poking out there. Don't love that, but just is what it is. Look at that. And then I want to come on the other side. And we're going to just put a little bit of grass here to try and get us up to the plane of the field. Then we can grab our Meadowland grass like this. Go ahead and finish this up.
And the reason why I'm doing this is it's going to be easier uh, to come in with that dry grass. I actually need to increase. So let me go back into painting. We need to add more grass here as well. So by putting this meadow grass down, I can then come back in with the dry grass and it will it will look better. put some uh, weeds and shrubs along the side of the pond and that will make it look even more realistic and cover up that um, <laughs> the fence that's popping up over here. Okay, so painting into dry grass. Again, we're just going to go with a nice small circle, and we're just going to kind of go right along the edge of the pond just to kind of give it that bank effect. Maybe it's a little too big. was too big. And then come into your plants and just grab whatever you like um, and just start sprinkling these in here. Um, does not matter where you put them.
And then I even really, really like there's a, uh, a grass texture that I got from the Maze Plus Discord server um, that is a slightly... Uh, you saw me use it a little earlier. Really like it. It just... It, it, it's nice. Just gonna sprinkle this in. And you can do the same. So this entire area up here is kind of just grassland. And we can... There's actually some trees up here as well. Sprinkling this in here really just adds to the look of what is on the actual farm. We'll spin around and again, just still kind of, whoa! That was the game sticking right there. So how do we fix that? Well, we come back into painting. We go into water puddle and we just paint that away. Or you could leave it if you wanted to have uh, some type of vegetation in your water. Okay, now there is a fence, and it is very similar to the fence in-game, so I believe it does this. And then I believe there is a fence here. And then there, I don't think that this so there there's the little the little train track is right here i don't have anything small like that i also don't think that this is a bridge i think this comes like this so if i come into landscaping and i just go ahead and pull this out we're going to come across the pond or the excuse me the stream like this We're then gonna go to painting. We're gonna fix all these little errors that I now have. And yes, I believe it does go across like so. To the field. And then in decorative items, we can grab some of those uh, culverts, which will work really, really well. I can find them. I never can find these culverts. But again, I have way too many mods as it is. I know you're here. I know you're there. There you are. I just passed you. Flip that around. Culvert goes there. Culvert goes here. Culvert pipe, I should say. Um, and then, coming into landscaping, we'll grab some plants, and we'll just kind of... Dazzle that up a little bit. Okay, now up here, we do need to fix our grass right there. We're actually very close. We're very close. We're much closer than you think on the actual build of it. I still have to put um, some equipment on here. They had some beautiful pictures of combines and tractors. So I'm going to go into painting.
that, and then this is just grass back here. Okay, now I need to put... So, this is where mm, I'm off again. So I need to kind of... So let me grab my painting. I need to bring this around. And since this is nice, we haven't actually put the fields in yet. And I won't bore you with that. I will stop the record. Um, you know, finish up some little items here and there before I do the full reveal. That this is, I think this over here is where the uh, pumpkins are. I think, and there are some trees over here. A lot of trees, actually. Might even again throw some extra trees in here. Um, let's put some elms. And this area is yeah, could use a few down in here and then out front I'm gonna jump over to Google Maps. Always save. You know, I preach that all the time. But so important. And then there's just... There's trees kind of sprinkled around the place. Now over here, I might actually come in. So we used some of that really nice grass. Let me come into my landscaping, my plants. Let me find that because I do see right here. This is very nicely cut grass. Really all the way down here through the house. And back over here, too.
And I might just put a ribbon or, or a, a border here. And I don't know if there's a fence out front, but I'm going to add one. I just I feel like it would look really nice. I feel like, again, a, a farm of this high quality, I'm sure there's something out front here. I'm going to kind of just rotate that around. Come over to here. And this might be like the... This is the nice fertilized and manicured lawn. and just square that off. Perfect. And I might do the same here. I'm going to put a fence in. Again, I, I don't know if this has a fence or if this is a fenced area. I, I just I feel like this would work really well with a fence around this manicured area. So forgive me if this is not what's at the actual farm. But I really like that, that look right there. Out of the map editor, I did take an opportunity to go in and sprinkle in trees, a lot of trees, and some equipment, decorative items. And I think this Purdue Farms in Farm Sim 22 turned out awesome. I can only imagine that in real life, uh, this is a real treat to bring your family in the fall, get your pumpkins. Uh, this Purdue Family Farms really has something special here. As for all the crops, I went in afterwards and planted. Again, we're on no man's land, so there aren't any pre-built fields. I did have to plant corn and sunflowers, and then I used the grow now button to, to get it to grow quickly. Where will I build next? Well, it depends solely on you. You can submit your farm, your family farm, your friend's farm, or a farm you love to see in the community. The with the stovers at gmail.com will do one of these a week, and we'll post it for all of you to enjoy. It was great to be back in no man's land to have all my texture brushes. I think we'll build the next one right here. So thankful to have you with us. We'll see you next time right here on the farm with the Stovers. <laughs>